two-time Tony winner Norbert Leo Boss brings the fire to every project he's a part of, from screen to stage to music and more. Yeah, and now he is back on stage at the famed 54 Below, bringing back his third original solo show, Torch Songs for a Pandemic. And we are so excited to catch up with him now. Hi. How are you? Hi. <laughs> you're, so, you're such a joy, and this is like, this is the perfect venue for you too. Because also, I feel like fans get up close and personal with you. Yes. We don't always get that when you're on a Broadway stage. I love this venue. Um, thank you to 54 Below. They always have me back. My my union is on strike right now, you yeah. guys. I, I've had no no work since June. Uh, Jennifer Tepper called me up. She's like, we've got a bunch of cancellations, and uh, I'm like, give me the dates. Yeah. I love working there. Yeah. Well, let's set up the show. So I know you're performing this month and next. Yep. What's uh, tell us about it? So I I spent a lot of the pandemic. Uh, you know, ac acting is my day job. I was stuck uh, doing a television series in Vancouver. Mm -hmm. I was separated from my wife and kids for 10 months, you guys. Oh, wow. This was pre-vaccination, right? And I rented a piano, and I played a bunch of music, and I, I just kind of poured all that isolation and loneliness into a bunch, a bunch of songs. Some of them I wrote. A lot of them I covered. Great, great songwriters like Dolly Parton. Oh, I do, yes. a, I do a, a great Dolly <laughs> cover, some Springsteen, a Joni Mitchell tune, and they're just all songs about uh, how we stay connected, you know, during during that awful, awful time. Oh, it's not care. a depressing show. It's a show, uh, an uplifting, hopeful show. Now, whenever you're going through that time in your mind, you know, you did all the arrangements, you wrote, you sang, you did all these things. What do you want fans to walk away from, uh, to walk away with whenever they see your show? Yeah. Um, it's just to always remember that that we are stronger together. You know, we, we got through that time. Um, um, with the help of our communities sure. and our families. It was a really special time for me because before I was doing this series, I have three daughters mm -hmm. and um, they all had to come home during the pandemic. I don't miss the pandemic, but I yep. miss that time. Silver My kids linings, came home right? and we made music every night together and we had long, long dinners together. So it's just about how, how family and community really gets us through the hardest times. Yeah, you know? Well, you, you bring up your daughters. I know you collaborated with, with my oldest, them, right? daughter, yeah. my oldest daughter, my oldest daughter, on your music. Hi, Clara. Um, <laughs> she's uh, 26 this week, um, and she is a wonderful songwriter. Wow. So this is another creative project I did during the pandemic. We co-wrote a few songs together, and I made a CD, and it's out this week. It's called King of Hearts, and um, my daughter co-wrote the songs with me. Was that like the ultimate proud father oh and gosh. daughter moment? <laughs> yeah, you know, hashtag dad brag. You know, I I, I couldn't be prouder of my girls and. Um, she's really, really, really gifted. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm, I'm thrilled to, to give her a platform. Yeah. That is so, <laughs> so cool. Yeah. Um, also, what is this 20th anniversary that we're celebrating? Wicked. A little show called Wicked. Can I have, okay, oh. please, 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 listen to me. My first Broadway experience was going to watch Wicked. Oh. So when I was reading, I, I was just like, are you serious? <laughs> Total fan. I mean, this couldn't be. This couldn't get any better. I'm so proud of the show. I mean, it's amazing. There you are. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Like I'm not gonna sing. I'm not gonna sing. <laughs> Did you take anything from from that set, or like, do you have any mementos at home? <laughs> I you do. To, we I have help? a really special memento. What do you have? I have my wife. I met my wife Michelle Federer doing that show. She <gasps> played Nessa Rose. So <sighs> the memento, I, the memento I took was the uh, my beautiful wife of almost 20 years. That is and I never forget my anniversary because. Because it's the same amount you of shows. That, that, is, that is the best answer. We've just ever. had 20 years together because of Wicked. And just real quick, a selfish question: If you could hop on any Broadway show for a night, oh, what God. would it be? Um, um, okay. I would love to revive Dirty Rotten Scoundrels for one night only. Um, maybe I would play the John Lithgow part um, oh. since I'm old enough now. Well, Dirty I Rotten Scoundrels. We gotta wait, bring it back. I was gonna say, while we wait for that to happen, you can catch Norbert at 54 Below throughout October and November. Head to 54Below.org for tickets and more info. You are the best. Oh, always. thank you so always. much. Thanks, always. ladies. Nice to meet you.